Hello, this is Tetch from 510 Gaming, and in this episode of Mount and Blade, I am showing you, and also teaching myself, how to set up enterprises, because right now, <laughs> my army is just bleeding money really bad. Look at that, losing 1700 a week, and my rents from Istanar are zero because i haven't started upgrading with that and it keeps getting raided and i'm not going to just babysit my little village for uh oh, the whole time because uh i need to make money other ways by looting my own villages so uh i realize i need to invest in these enterprises in these cities because uh that's the good way to make money so I've seen. So my I'm alliance with the Rodox. So right now I am going to their town. You take a walk around the street and uh, you have to find the guild leader. So find the guild leader and for this city, use Saul. Talk to the guild leader. He's right here by the front gates. I say, hey, good day. What can I do you for? And you go to the bottom, and it says, I wish to buy land in this town for productive enterprise. So you have all these different uh, enterprises. And uh, when you click on them, it says, very good. And he explains to you the cost, uh, the upkeep, and your expected profit. So... Here it says this will cost me upfront cost of fifteen hundred, and the bread is worth two two hundred twenty-two each week, and what the cost to manufacture is two seventy-six, so that's uh, about five hundred, and labor is thirty, so it's like three three thirty three fifty, and the profit would be negative 84 a week so no that sounds terrible because I don't understand why would I invest in something and I'm losing money um, but what my understanding is is that those prices fluctuate so your profit because that would make <laughs> that wouldn't make any sense why would the game allow you to invest in something if you're just gonna lose money so this one, it's worth 2,500 upfront cost, uh, 250 uh, for. They'll produce 250 of worth. Okay, so I messed up the other one. So it's they'll produce 250 each week in profit. So uh, it'll cost to manufacture the batch 46, and the labor and upkeep is 50. So that okay so you take the 46 and the 50 it's about 100 okay so that's how they're getting that 158 a week so i'm not sure if the cost fluctuates or is it just the worth of the al eel that fluctuates each week so the reason why i'm recording this not only to teach you and myself i also want to see how much it actually fluctuates so i'm going to buy one of these and then go ahead a couple of weeks and kind of see you know what exactly happens and how much it fluctuates so I'm assuming the more you're going to invest the more profit you're going to make in the long run so I know uh, the die works is the most expensive one I believe and I've looked at doing this in my last playthrough and the die works I was actually losing two negative is <laughs> negative two hundred dollars a week and I was like well I am not going to invest in that so this playthrough I'm revisiting this again and now this would make five hundred dollars dinars whatever a week so um, you could also look through a couple of other these other ones wine press uh, five grand gonna lose 20 bucks 
a week. So right now it almost seems like the, ah, oh, that's pretty good uh, return, actually. Tools, 200 bucks for that total upfront cost. That's technically a better return, it looks like. Uh, more bang for your buck. I'm a financial analyst by day, so that's my nine to five job. <laughs> so all I do is look at numbers. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with the die works, and let's see what happens here. So I lost ten grand, and you already operated die works here. So you're only allowed one productive enterprise. And let's check out the and says weekly budget. So I have not had made any money yet. And uh, let's skip forward. And okay, I'm not involved in that. Good. Do through through. Maybe I'll just fast forward this for you guys until something happens. And oh, I'm not at war anymore. Maybe my uh, my city will stop. My little town that I own will stop being owned every five seconds. So my party has nothing to eat. Ugh, you fat guys. Buy some bread, buy this cr cheap crap. I don't want to buy a chicken and it go bad in two seconds. I'm hoping. Uh, oh, there's going to be a feast here. Perfect. I don't have to travel. I'm hoping that I get a notification. Oh, can, I'm a sweaty. Uh, that's annoying because my sweaty and knights might get a little mad that they're going to war with uh, their own people. Anyways, that might be another <laughs> episode. Halt. You have bested the contagious. What is going on? Oh my god. Am I about to go to into battle right now? I'm just trying to make money. And, uh, all right, so I guess that I'm going to have to fight these guys. We will fight you to the end because, actually, that's a good question. I wonder if we lose and uh, my current company or whoever I'm with, my alliance, loses, loses the castle, the city, and what would happen to my, my enterprise that I just started here. So... I have 53 troops against their 140. Wow. Unbelievable. Perfect. And uh, I'm just going to screw with some of my soldiers. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Let's, let's win this for the episode. Oh, my God. Wait. Why are we? I thought we were in the castle. Oh, my God. Was they not even in the castle this whole time? I was hoping that this would be an easy win if I was in the castle. All right, sweet. So this might actually be hard. All right, I have to concentrate now. All right, cavalry, what are you gonna do? Where are there, guys? So they have a cavalry. That's what really annoys me. It looks like they're mostly on foot. I'll put my cavalry over here for a second. Um. Archers. I don't even know if I have any archers right now. I'll put my infantry a little bit in front of them. Protect what? I have like three guys. Uh, eh, try to get a couple shots off. And I suck, so. Oh, that was it for sure. Okay. Oh, nope, don't. I just want my cavalry. Um, can you 
guys back up a little bit? You know what? I should just really just tell them to f charge. What am I doing? All right, let's go. And take the first one. Easy hit. And uh, boom, boom, boom. If you see my other episode, you would see that I like this hammer just because it just knocks dudes out. And I make a lot of, oh, what was that? And uh, I like to make a lot of money by just taking prisoners and having the nice dull blunt weapon that does a ton of damage just knocks them all out. Usually in like one hit, especially if you get a good enough speed unless like you're, you're hitting a heavily armored guy, but I think it's mostly because you're hitting them in the head usually when uh, <laughs> when you're swinging down on them, so crush them right in the head. Oh, I just realized my TV is on mute and I cannot hear that. Oh, maybe give you guys a little background sound. All right, so that first wave put up a pretty good fight. I mean, when they don't really have a huge cavalry, I'm uh, not too worried about it. Oh, overhead shot. All right. Uh, cavalry. Charge. Charge these guys real quick. I should probably get them. Like a starting, a good starting charge, but these guys don't really look too strong. I regroup them uh, at the ugh, at the end of that last wave, just because it's you know they start charging over there, they start running around, and I just like lose sight of them, and they're just all over the place doing God knows what. There's a, if, there, if there's a couple all the way over there, uh, where the other team spawns, they could probably surround a couple of them. So I just like to bring them back. And like this, like where is everyone going? See, like that one guy, I don't like that. Uh, these guys are pain to uh, level up, and uh, I don't want anyone to die. Oh, jeez. Psych. Wow, is that guy still standing? I think it's just because I hit him in the arm, not in the head. Boom. Up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. Ah, turn it. Oh, yeah. My knight got him. Do 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 do. Now everyone is running. So I'm gonna just tell everyone to fall back for a second. They had 150, and I had 50, so they might have a couple more waves coming. I'll tell my cavalry to. Eh, I don't want them too far. Go over there for now. In case there's another wave coming, I can get them some. Uh, Run and start. Where is everyone? I was expecting another wave to come. Oh. That's the other wave. One guy. Ooh. I need to get my archery up. In the face. Is that it? Yeah. Sounds like it. Boom. Get them hops. Alright. This episode is becoming a lot longer. Definitely than what I originally intended. Alright, let's just charge. Let's just take him out.
my archery is absolutely terrible. I need to level that up. That's why I'm doing that. And boom, 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 boom. Once I start uh, doing this with a horse that's actually upgraded, that has armor, uh, these guys like won't do any damage to my horse, but right now, it's like, you know what, whatever. If I fell off my horse, it's alright. Come on. Yeah, this is this game for sure. Everything pops up. I'm trying to do a video on in an enterprise, and it gets attacked. So awesome. Come on. There's this other wave. Oh, guess not. All 50 came in that one. And of course they escaped, so. Any skirmisher, warrior? Pretty good. I mean, I could take 20 prisoners, so. Honestly, I think I'd just take them all. Yep. Alright. Yeah. Was I not even in the city? Was I like a little outside of it? I, thought, I don't know. I thought I was in the city. I don't know why. That's so weird. Alright. Oh, visit my die works. That's an option now. How long has this episode been? Jeez. Uh, oh, almost 20 minutes. I want to uh, wrap this up soon. So, Master Dyer, what's going on? Good day. We hope to begin production in about three days. Okay. So, this looks like you spent my 10 grand pretty well. And you have some, uh, is that silk? All right, and I uh, guess I'll come back in 10 days. What, 10 days? Three days. Come on. Do, 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 do. One day, and I'm being raided. Sick. I think my city is like Istanar. All the way down here. Yeah, all the way in the corner. It's not worth it. Uh, so far away. Alright, this is the end of the second day. And uh, one more day. Let's go. This might be the end of the third day, I think. Yeah, I can't read all this crap on the screen. All right, finally, weekly budget. All right, so now I got my net revenue. I mean, I guess that'd be my net profit, not really revenue from the die works. I mean, overall, it's my total revenue minus my wages. But, uh, yeah, of course, I don't have any rents for my town because it keeps getting pillaged. But, you know what? 500 bucks. That's, like, a pretty good deal. Um, one thing I, I need to mention is that if the town or the guild guy doesn't like you enough, they won't let you uh, make or start your own enterprise in the city. So, 
got this somewhat like you. And when I joined, came here, the populace is indifferent to me. So it's only at one. So it's literally the minimum amount uh, that I guess I could do. Uh, that I guess they'd be indifferent. Maybe zero. That might work. And hell, maybe even a negative by a couple might work. But not sure. Um, actually, let's run over somewhere oh okay can't do that suno okay oh yeah owned by the same guy uh, i don't want to get caught in a battle right now all right so this one swadia uh do 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 let's go to another is that a bad guy All right, now I'm in a city. All right, this populace is indifferent to me, so let me uh, take a walk around the streets and see if I could find the guild master and see what happens when they're indifferent to me and it's owned by another alliance. I have to find this guild guy. Never even walk around these towns. Uh, this might be the horse guy, probably. Ooh, oh, that's armor, weapons path. Did I go by anyone? You guys standing still? What do you want? Guildmaster, okay, that's weird. All right, hello stranger. I wish to buy land. Very good. We in the guild don't entrust you, and I think you can find someone to Ah, oh, so they trust me too. Sweet. Yet the populace was indifferent from me. So for some reason, these people like me. Not sure why. What I've done to them. Um. Oh, so the profit here would be five hundred bucks a week too. Jeez, do I have enough money? Hmm. I think. How much was grain? So this is negative as well, the green. There's one where I was like, oh, this is a better uh, deal, technically. Maybe it's the ironworks. Yeah, it was. 14, so that's not the same. I think that was around 200 in the other city. Where's my land? Hmm. Proper B sixty two. Did I look at the wrong thing? Yeah, my profit here would be five twenty one. Huh. Yeah, here's my money. Just take it all. I barely had enough money, I think, as well, for this. Yeah, four grand left. Let's visit. My day works. And he's going to probably say, you know, seven days great. All right. Well, I think this is the end of the tutorial. I actually had a pretty easy situation. Both cities liked me and uh, let me, you know, buy some land for a protective enterprise. If they don't like you, uh, which happened to me before in my last playthrough. I think you could do some quests for your guild, for the for that guild leader, and uh, he might trust you after that. Never really followed through, and ended up just going to a different city. Uh, but with all the cities, there's a chance that someone likes you. So uh, this is it for Tetch here with... Uh, 510 gaming um if you liked my video i have a couple other videos uh, that i've made and we'll be making more soon about this game so thanks again for watching and uh have a good one